Well, hello everybody. We're uh, playing again. We're going to continue on with our Warhammer 4th edition. We're going to try to reenact 4th edition as best as we can. Uh, we Today we set up some... Uh, uh, we set up a uh, two armies, and uh, a long time ago, I, I had actually made a, uh, I guess, a league. I was a league when Kieran was first born, actually, um, and this we were playing 7th, I think it was, no, it was 6th edition at that time. And I have extensive rules that I created for leagues, and basically we start out with 500 points. Those points uh, will always be with you throughout the campaign. And then uh, we also have three territories, and the territories. Uh, uh, so when we start, you can have one uh, one hero level character, which is a level two, and Kieran's is his his wizard over there. He's um, supposed to be like um, Nurgle, but yeah, my Nurgle model isn't painted no, not yet. Not painted. That's fine. So yeah, he's got uh, Kieran's chaos is a mark of Nurgle. So far, he's um, th it's really limited in what you can can have. You can't have any war machines. You can't have magic items. Uh, you can't even have extra sorcerers and stuff. It's just regiments and, and core troops, and of course, Kieran has demons. Now, I know in, in 4th edition Warhammer, uh, the Chaos could get gifts of uh, gifts every turn. I cannot, for the life of me, find that, that uh, box. It was a box set, and it had special cards and stuff in it for gifts and Nurgle. But we're not going to play that way, because uh, we'll, we'll see at the end of the uh, end of the game, maybe uh, with we can get experience. Um, troops can can uh, kind of uh, get new abilities and stuff throughout the campaign. So uh, Kieran's campaign. Uh, so Kieran uh, has five Knights of Chaos with the Mark of Nurgle, I guess. And then he's got three Minotaurs, and they just have a single Minotaurs. hand weapon. And then he's got five uh, regular Chaos Knights, and behind them there's uh, three uh, stands of Nurglings. And then he's got his uh, Nurgle Sorcerer over there. For, yeah. for my side, I have 25 uh, spearmen, and inside here, um, one of my special territories, Kieran's territories were all roads, and in this campaign, roads give you more points for core regiments. So he ended up getting, what was it, 250 extra points? Yeah. Okay, so Kieran's army is approximately 750 points, and mine is a little bit more, it's 800, clocked in at 800 and something, I think. Um, I don't recall, so... It was 500 plus another 200 and another, yeah, another 300. So I'm at, Mine I'm about 802. 749 points. Right, okay. So I've got Spearman and then I, I one of my territories gives me a, a level one wizard. So that's right here in this unit here. And then um, one of my other territories was just a road, which gave me just enough points for five pistol years. They're going to be a detachment of this unit. I've never really quite figured out the detachment rules, how, how they're supposed to work. I'm sure if somebody wants to comment in the in the notes, that would be great. Um, my other territory was, I rolled a 66, which is the best territory, one of the best in the game. It lets me have a level three wizard. Um, and then finally, I've got five knights of, of uh, knights panther, actually. So, um, Dad, I have a question. Yep. Say my spell was like uh, power three or power, yep. could I still use it with a level one wizard? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, you can. Um, I could go through the wizard, the, I mean, the rules no, here. Yeah, well, you're going to yeah. need to know how, how, how it works. But you know what? Why don't we do that in the wizard phase, okay? Yeah. So um, we're all deployed here, and uh, because the table's little, it's not quite four feet in length, I mean, in width. Um, we deployed only six inches out. And um, so the two uh, territories that normally in this campaign, the rules that I made... Um, state that you have to roll for two territories and or you ante a territory each and then you roll for an independent territory but in this one we're just playing to win for the first couple games we're just going to play to win so the two territories that we had is a bridge and a town so the bridge what does that do again Karen? the bridge gives you 90 points and the yeah. town gives you a level eight. two character or wizard right no just uh, a level two character a level, or, no. or a, bat, bat, a st battle standard bearer a horn dude or a wizard yeah at, at level two hero right yep. yeah so whoever wins will get that territory and uh they'll improve their army now um okay so i think we're ready to go so we're going to roll off and see who uh 
who starts the first roll of the game. We've already determined that there's going to be six uh, turns in the game. Kieran rolled that because there's a little chart. And again, we're playing this as, as close as we can to fourth edition. So um, we're this time we're going to play with both the... Uh, there's a Minotaur problem We have here. Battle Magic and we have the Arcane Magic as well. Oops. All right. And uh, let's go, Kieran. So roll off. High roller will get the first turn I of the game. I shouldn't have to have five Minotaurs, but... Yeah, that is that is a good rule, Kieran. Uh, so in 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 this edition, I got a six. First of all, no, you didn't. You rolled the one. Um, oh. In this edition, uh, the you only have to have four wide to to start getting rank bonuses. And in this edition, Minotaur unit need needed to have uh, five models. It it couldn't be just three as future uh, editions. But because other things like dragon ogres, they let them do three. So I'm going to say the minotaurs, because they're on the big kind of monster-ish base, um, I let them take those guys. So, okay, so I get to start here. So the very first thing is declare charges, Kieran, and I don't have any charges. And so um, when you march, you can do one wheel. Um, I don't know if we screwed that up in our last game. So um, these guys are going to come on in, I guess. Uh, these guys, oh, I don't even know what my movement is. I have no idea because I haven't played Empire and forever so they got four so i can go up to eight well i mean you just got these painted how long ago not very long ago yeah so all right so that's eight they'll just go straight ahead but the thing i like about my army is they got this snow here these pistolers are just gonna go four it's amazing i like it Okay, and now these are, uh, the, because these are um, uh, Knight's Panther, normally they have a move of eight, but because they've got barded uh, horses and they, because they also have heavy armor and shield, they lose two off of their movement. So they can go up to 12, Kieran. So um, that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to... Do these dudes still have their shields? That's not 12. So I'm just going to... Can I get a die, die here, Kieran? Yeah, I go straight, I can go straight to there. Okay. So I'm going to uh, go a little bit back, and I'm going to wheel a little bit here. You know what? Okay, they do have their shield. Sure. Yeah, they have a shield. Yeah. Okay, uh, and then I've lastly got my, uh, my wizard, and I think he's going to... He's got actually a movement of, uh, instead of... He's got to move him to seven because he's got barding on the horse, but he doesn't have armor, of course. So I can move him seven or I can go him actually further than that. You know what? I'll put him right to there. All right. And uh, that's that. Shooting. Now, my pistols, I have no idea. I forgot to write pistols, down. Pistols? Uh, your muskets? My hand gunners. Like, is that what they are? They're muskets of some sort. No, they're not muskets. They're... Uh, they're hand gunners, a unit of hand gunners. I have no idea what the handgun range is. I forgot to uh, check that. So let's see if we can find it in the rule book. I love these old rule books. Like this, this rule book is just fantastic. It's good, but it's it's not as good as the uh, third edition rule book. I I just really enjoyed the third edition hardcover. Okay, missile weapons here. We got uh, handguns. They have a range of twenty four. It takes a complete turn to load. So you may only move and fire every other turn. Uh, you cannot move and fire a handgun in the same turn. So they move, so they can't fire. Yeah, you can't you can't check pre-measure ranges here at all, Kieran. Oh, I was just trying no, to... No pre-measuring ranges in this version. See if your muskets uh, would be in range of my main And course. their save modifier is minus two instead of minus one, even though it's a straight, uh, strength of four. Okay, so that obviously won't work. So next we go to the... Uh, Wins a magic face, and do I have any spells that can possibly hit? I guess I can. So, uh, I don't know what this one does here. Okay, sure, we'll, we'll try it. Um, so, wins a magic, it's my turn, so I'm going to roll two dice, and this is how much magic is out there. There's 11. I've already shuffled the deck, I'll just give it another shuffle. So, starting with me, because it's my turn. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11. All right. So, um, I cannot remember for the life of me if you can keep a... Can you keep a uh, power card from round to round? Uh, can I look? You can look at your cards. Okay. Yeah. 
So you might have Dispels, Kieran, or Destroys. You choose a spell and put it face up on the table with enough power cards to make it work. Requires at least one power card to make it work. It automatically works unless it's dispelled. Dispels and other ways of countering are discussed later. So um, once a spell has been cast, any power cards used to power it are removed and, and go out of the kind of out for the turn. Um, once cast a spell, cannot be cast until the following magic phase. And then after I cast, then you have a chance, Kieran. So we both can cast in the magic phase, which is kind of Whoa, that's very, not very really... strange. Your card will say if you can retain it spell. So, um, Kieran, I'm going to start. I don't think I'm in range, but I'll... I'll... Huh. Okay, my level one wizard is going to try to cast a spell. going to try. It needs a power of two. Hold on. And uh, it's, it's called the Mists of Duthondor. Dark strands of green mist congeal around any sing unit or single model within 24 of the caster, covering it entirely. Yeah, you can hit anybody. Hold on. Um, no model can see from, into, or through the mist. Missiles may not be fired by or at the unit inside. The unit may move in a random direction at half rate but the mist will follow and continue to cover the target. If the target engages in close combat, then the com all the combatants are covered by the mist, and the number of hits caused is halved. A unit broken within the mist is destroyed. Place this card next to the target to indicate that it's in play. Spell lasts for the rest of the game or until it's dispelled or until the caster is slain. Okay. Um, I, I'd imagine you can, you can end your own spell. I would think you could. Okay, so I've cast with two yeah. power, and I before we do anything, Kieran, um, we got to check the range. So I got to nominate a, a unit. So I think I'm gonna nominate. He's got to be able to see them, Kieran. You should go for these dudes because then you also get those dudes. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try for your well, cast. Well, I don't think cast knights, you... but I, I'm just gonna measure the range first. You're in with. I'm, I'm definitely within range. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna try to dispel it. A drain magic. Okay, what does that magic say? Magic phase is ended as soon as this card. Is played all power cards not yet played are returned to to the deck. Any spell in play are instantly dispelled. Okay. You didn't want to try to cast yours then? Okay. So I don't think we can, with the drain magic, I don't think you can uh, keep anything. Nope. Yeah, all cup cards are returned to the deck. Okay. So that's going to end my turn. And it goes to your turn here. Wait, why is there a huge discard pile? Because they're all returned to the deck. Yeah, I, I don't think you shuffle them until you go through the deck. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you could have kept that here in. No. Then. All right. No, that's good. If not, you know, if we're playing anything wrong, let us know. Okay, so uh, what? your turn, Ken. I don't understand. It says movement four, but they're on a mount. Uh, yeah, well, you, you move the war horses move eight normally, but in brackets, it's six. Now, um, these are hedges. So in the hedges, uh, we'll play that. Yeah, I know that this is kind of going against the rules, but that, I'm okay with it. I'll play that the minute. No, no, no. You can't measure. Pre-measure. Just wait. Um, these guys can get over these without any penalty, but we'll say ground troops can't. So we'll say that they can too because they're big minotaurs and these are just little hedges. We're just going to play that they're just... Well, do I... Can I not measure and move them? Yeah, you can now move. Are you going to declare any charges? I don't think you can, right? Because you got to be within a foot. Okay, so go for it. Yeah, so they can move uh, six, so they could go up to 12 if you march them. They're just going to move a basic six. Oh, 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 no, no, measure, bud. You know how to measure. Use some dice. Straight ahead. Straight ahead. You just want to move them six? Okay. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, that's what I was afraid was going to happen. You know what? Let's just move these. Uh... Here, we'll put this dice in here. Okay. Sure. Charge! Wait a foot? Okay. Uh, how much movement does your, do your minotaurs have? Mm -hmm. Can you maybe push your chair back so you can just stand and do this, please? 
How far do they move? Six. Okay, so they could march up to 12. Oh, but you're going to be in the way of that building, so... No, straight ahead. Straight. From the front of the base. Okay, what do they want to do? Go to there? Yeah, they can go a little yeah. bit further here. Okay, so. yeah, but do you want to wheel them? Like, I don't know how you're going to get around these buildings, but... Oh... Okay, okay. You want to go like that and maybe okay, like turn them, or do you just want to keep them wheel straight? Wheel them like, yeah, sure. That's probably the end of my turn. Like, about okay. No, and those guys can move. Oh yeah. Okay, they've only got a four move. They can march eight. No, 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 no. Don't move anything till you measure. You want to move march on eight? Yeah. Okay, S straight. I need to, so... You just, just stay straight ahead, yep. Yep, that's the left. Actually, let's move them back a little. And... Sure. Yeah. And then... Oh, how, far, how far can your nerdlings move? Four. Okay, yeah, they can go right behind them. I know. If you wanted to, or they can go a different way. The nerglings are really good for tying up, like, might be, would have been good for tying up these guys possibly, right? Now, you have to be careful, Karen. With you moving that way, I, hold on, I'm just going to show you something here. I don't know where our temp, I have a template, but can I just see that tape measure for a sec? Actually, we'll use this card. So this here. I can see them. So is this going to be, yeah, I guess it's going to be in their front. Like, it, where's, where's my leader point? And it's in the front. But if... It, See, if you would have turned a little bit further, I would have got a flank charge. And if I get a flank charge off with my knights, you're, you you should be destroyed pretty easily. So If I get a flank charge off, it's easy. Yeah. Okay, so move your nerglings now. Right here? You, yeah, you can Well, you can move them. You're right behind your uh, knights, yeah, so you can so. move them. But move them straight. you got to wheel them if you're going to turn them. Just, put, just slide it. Oh. Right there, yeah, they're gonna wheel there. Okay, I think they'd be like. They're nerdlings. They 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 have a curious mind. More like that. If they have a mind. Okay, and then what about your uh, your wizard, or your nurgle guy? I don't know what it's. You can move him eight, but if you if you double move him, I don't think he can cast spells. Well, his name's Glock. Glock can move. Is just gonna move four? Okay. I don't know if like, I don't know if you can cast spells. If you, I wonder if the main rules say. So I'm just gonna move forwards and like. He's good. Yeah, I think if you do, if you march, you you probably can't. I wonder if it's in the marching rules. I'm not. You can't cast. I'm not gonna march. I, I, I know. I just I just want to know for my own. It just says you can't shoot missile weapons during the shooting phase. It does not say you can't uh, cast spells. So. I guess we can cast spells. So uh, uh, you have no shooting because you have no ranged weapons. So uh, roll two d. I can cast spells, but I don't so wanna. Roll two d six for the winds of magic here. You, you always have to. Why would I? But five, one, two, three, four. Well, what five. if my spell's a one shot? A one shot. Well, you can always end it. End the spell. Oh, when I get it back. Yeah. But once you end it, then yeah. Then the other player knows yeah. what it does. So do you want to cast anything, sir? No can do. Um, I don't either, so magic phase is done. Alright, so we are now on turn two. Turn two. Two out of six. Two out of six, yes sir. All right, and uh, charges. These guys here are going to move forward for. Uh, Dad, we might want to have some yeah. extra dice just around because these dudes, the my minotaurs, mm -hmm. they will eat. They'll say and eat dudes. So if these dudes die, say here. Okay. Then. Yeah. Kind of yeah, we'll, we'll worry about that when it happens. Okay, so next is shooting phase. So I'm gonna. Uh, these five guys are gonna try to take a shot at your chaos knights. So we gotta check check the range. So uh, 
the range is 24. I think, you, you tell me, is that in range there, Karen? Yeah, that's in range. Okay, do I get everybody is in range? I don't know. Yep. Okay, so I get five shots. Okay, so five shots with my hand gunners, and they have a... Um, oh, it, my dude's got a shield. Yeah, I, I understand, just wait. Uh, five guys, they have a... Oh, range of 24. So, uh, I guess it's a bullet. Can, can you go to the sheet here? This is a really important sheet. Okay, and I just want to take you through how it works. So I have a handgun. It's got 24 inch movement. And it says the handgun may not move and shoot. May, may, may not move and fire. May they not fire move, two turns in a they row. They can move 20 inches. No, they can, they can fire 24. Cool. Okay. okay, so they have a ballistic, the handgunners have a ballistic skill of three, which is a base of four. So you look at here, to hit is a three, which is the D6 roll is a four. Okay, do you see it? Yeah. Okay, and now let's look for modifiers. I'm shooting at a large target. No. Shooting while moving. No. Shooting at a charging enemy. No. Shooting at long range. Yes. Shooting at a single guy. And, and am I shooting through any kind of cover? No. We're, tree. No. We're, there is a, no, because they have there a There is a tree. I know. It's not a, we're, I'm not in a forest. That kind of, I'm not, you're not behind anything else. I'm, there's, there's no cover here. This is just for aesthetics. That's all. Okay, so normally I need a four, but I got a minus one. I now need five to hit. So you can move through the tree? Yeah, you can move through those trees. Ooh, I got three. Okay, so three hits. So now I got to find out if, if I wound. So uh, the handgun, the strength of the handgun is four. And what is your, on your Chaos Knights, what is, of, the, of the, the, the riders, not the horse, what is their toughness? The riders? Yeah. What? It doesn't say the... Um, Can I see your sheet? I'll show you what it, how it works. What do you mean the riders? Yeah. Like? So the, the chaos, where's the knights? Chaos knights here. So their toughness is four. See the horses? The, the mount is a toughness four. But you always use... Your, and like I'm shooting... They like, got so it's four. It's it, they have a toughness of four. That's all that matters. Yeah, don't worry about that. Yeah, I gotta hit. I gotta hit. I gotta wound you first. So four on four. I need force to wound here. Oh, I got three. Okay, so that's three wounds, Karen. Oh, no, they don't have a shield. Three wounds. Now, your knight, chaos knights. What's their save? It should say on it. Yeah. I can take you through how it works. Where the heck are they? Are they down here? Uh, save. Yeah. Oh, four. No, no, no. Strength. It's in the bottom bottom corner of the of the thing. It'll say save somewhere down there. It's probably two plus. Here's how here's what? how you do it. Yes. It doesn't say anything. It sure does. Oh, I didn't put it there. No big deal. Yeah, it's a two. Here's here's here's. Uh, is it a two or three? Here's here's how it works. So um, you start off with a save for a cavalry is a six. Then you're wearing you have a shield takes it to a five. Then you're wearing heavy armor, or sorry, light armor would take it to a four. Where would be the same? Heavy armor here? takes it to a three. Plus two. Yeah, it's a two plus. Yeah. So uh, so heavy armor takes it to, and then barding takes it down to a two. So Kieran, uh, you've got a two plus. Normally you need twos on these three to save, but my handgun is has high strength. So it actually reduces your armor by two. But you're in by long two. Range. So instead of go saving on a two, you save on fours. Oh. Okay. Roll three. All three dice. You need four, five, or six. So you six, save two five. of them. So one guy is dead. Two. That messes up my formation. Yep. Okay. Now because one guy is dead, that is that twenty five percent. No. There's five of them. Five. That's only twenty percent, right? Kill. Five one one out of five is twenty percent. So you're right. Okay, so that's shooting. We go now to magic. Oh no, hand to hand combat. So yeah. um, I have four guys. I got five. I got a rank. No no no. You can't you can't change the it's rank. It's rank of four though. No no. That's how it is. I do, I do not think we align. Mm -hmm. uh, let me just check. I can't remember in this edition. Do we align after we charge? I I don't know. Why would you go in the line if you're charging? Oh, do you, how do you, do you align? Like, how do you align the, the two uh, groups? 
the silver to get ranged with chaos, but Oh, I, th I don't think you slide anything over in this edition. I think you just, however it is, it is. And again, uh, tell me if I'm wrong. So I have four guys. So I'm going to start off with my horses, Kieran. Okay. So I've got four horses. Yeah, just pretend that... These are my knights. I guess Panthers. they can have them in so chaos. So what's your weapon skill of your chaos knight? My knights, weapons... So, uh, Probably a four. Yeah, warriors. Weapon skill? W, w S. The six? No. Let me see. Let me see. Is that, can you check your book? Are you sure that do they have really a six weapon skill? So they probably have a shield. Um, oh, that, that. Chaos, not, chaos warriors. Weapon skill six. Oh my word, okay. Yes, that might be right, because chaos was really good. 24. Yeah, I guess so, hey? It's it's only four still. What? Yeah. But I doubled your... Yeah, I know. Ugh! Uh, All right. Over on your side. So I need fours to hit. The horses fail, Kieran. Okay. They fail on a charge. They fail to, to, to even oh, hit. they charge. The, the warriors are just cool, okay. My they're, Knight's Panther, however, like have a weapon skill of four. So four on six. Again, I need Wait, things. Wait, now it's, now it's the four riders. Four riders. <gasps> I just got one hit. Okay. When I charge, I've got a big lance. Okay. Um, the lance does, um, it, it's like it adds two to the strength. Okay. So my strength of my Knight's Panther is four normally, but now it's a six. So what is your toughness on the sheet? It's probably right I, I trust the sheep. The toughness of your Chaos Warrior? Four. So six strength on four? I need anything but a anything but a uh, one will wound. Don't don't worry about shields yet. That's for saves. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> anything but a one. I rolled a one. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh. So I charge in with this big Knight's Panther unit. They've got a standard bearer. And do you think they do one single point of damage? No. No. All right, so you get to attack back. So you have four guys that can attack? Five. No, just four. These, th this one can, but this one's out of, uh, it's too far to the, over. So how many attacks does the Chaos Warrior have, Karen? Oh my I think God. they have two each. Chaos Warrior, your strength? Would it be strength? Or? No, no, attacks, eight. Two. Two? So how many dice do you got there? Three. Three? Okay. Six, seven, eight. Roll all those. Roll them here, please. What do I need? Uh, what's your, your weapon skill is six and yeah. mine is four. So you tell me what you need. Go to the back here. Start, you look for your attacking weapon skill is six and mine's a four. What the heck? Is that big sheet? Right here. Oh. Why, why is there this thing here? That's a spring. <laughs> no kidding, but why is it there? <laughs> okay. um, so look here. Six, four, you need threes. I need threes. Threes to hit. Roll here. Threes, one, two. This just hit. Just come on, let's go. All right, so these are taken out, and you got five hits. Okay. Five hits. Okay, now, what's your strength of your Chaos Warriors? Uh, Check, get your sheep. Strength. Is probably four. four. So yeah. and my toughness is only three. So now you look like here to wound. Mm -hmm. You got the four. Yeah. I and you're looking four. for my three. What do you need? Yes. So re-roll those five dice. If and threes and hires will cause a wound on my guys. Uh, all but one, right? All but one, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because you rolled one too. Okay. So I get a save. Um, because your your uh, strength is four, it's minus one to my save. My knight's panther usually have a two, so they're gonna save on threes. Threes, save four. On, so. Save on threes. <laughs> two. two of them die. Ooh, you're... All right. Now we have to work out combat things. Did I do any wounds to you? No. Okay. All right. So you did two wounds to me. So that's. Oh, do I have two wounds? 
No, I don't know. I just have one, of course. Okay, so you have two. Uh, next, do you have any full ranks behind? No. Is anybody in the chart in the flanks or in the, in the rear? No. So um, did I do any wounds? No, but I have a standard bear. So because I have a standard bear, well, I have that, nerglings. Yeah, shh, but they're not in the they're not in that combat. So I take the test at minus one to my leadership because that's the difference in our scores. Okay, my leadership is a nine for my chaos warrior. Oh, my knights panthers is only a seven. What? You gotta be kidding me. Ooh. Yeah. I, I I hope I miss miss put that in, but that's yeah. Okay, hold on. But I am near my general. I'm within 12 inches of my general, so I can use my general's leadership. And my general is... It's like 90 because he rolled My general's six yellow beard. Six. Oh, but he's only got a 7 too. So I need a 6 or less. <laughs> 6 or less. <laughs> I'm running away. Alright, so I'm fleeing here. Do you wish to pursue me? Is your leader fleeing? What? Is that leader fleeing? No, he's staying there. Okay. I'm not pursuing you. You're not? You're, you're not? Because you, you have a chance to cut them down. And if you, you can possibly uh, engage these guys if you have enough movement. Fine. Up to you're you, though. You're going to get way too... How much movement does your dudes have? I'm going to roll 3d6 and you're going to roll 2d6. Oh, this is going to be bad. So are you, are you pursuing? Fine. Okay. We'll pursue one. All right. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a five. Uh, of course, you rolled a seven. So uh, let's. So these guys are dead. You have chased them down. You actually get to keep their standard, which is important. Oh yeah, victory points. Yeah. And whatnot. I'm just gonna put these guys back. And here. that's a whole unit dead. Okay. And now we're gonna go five inches. And is that enough to get there? Yes. So you can now just hold on to these guys. Is he like a prisoner? You can now engage. <laughs> yes. Oh, my wizard. Oh, Lord. Has this gone sideways? Here I thought I was like, I was just smug. I was like, there's no way I can lose I that I thought combat. I was going to oh, die they, to that. They have to make, he has to make a panic test first because he saw his, this this huge unit of knights just get mowed down in front of him. So <laughs> they charge. So I think, uh, like you'd where's think, panic? You'd think my knights would get trampled. Test if, this, uh, test if a friendly unit within 12 inches is broken. Now you only have to test if they're more, if, if there was the outnumbered you, I believe, if I recall. I can check the rule, I should probably. Panic, let's go to the psychology. Panic, test at the start of your turn if there's a fleeing friendly unit, that's not happening. Test if a friendly unit within 12 is broken in, or defeated in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Work out all combats, establish all broken units before making a t panic test. If a friendly unit is completely eradicated, yeah, I have to make that test first. So before you can charge into them, so they, they did move their full five, but I gotta see if, if this, if my wizard runs. He's, he's, uh, he's cool. Okay, so he stayed. All right. All right, so that is hand-to-hand -hand combat. So next thing we're gonna do, Kieran, is now I wonder. It's too bad that that's happening behind this hill, but I mean this uh, house. house. Because you're trying. Kind of can't see that, but okay. So now we go to the winds of magic here. Oh yeah. Damn. Okay, I rolled a ten. It's my turn. It's my turn, so oh. I rolled a number. Okay. Uh, I rolled a twelve. Oh. Two, two, three, three, four, uh, four, five, five. Okay. There you go. Those are your five cards. Um, hopefully I got something that helps me in hand to hand. Aww. I'm going to use uh, this power one spell, Karen. Okay, and here's what it does. It is called the Wild Kin of Xandox. Do you wish to try to dispel it? But here's what it does first. Purple shadows form about the caster and lurk about his heels like two great guardian hounds. If looked upon directly, the shadows disappear, but from the corner of the eye, they seem to be a pair of slavering dogs with needle-sharp fangs and long, slobbering tongues. If the wizard is within two inches of an enemy during the close combat phase, each shadow may make three attacks on one enemy. Model with weapon still five, hits are resolved with a strength of five. The spell lasts until it's dispelled, until the casting wizard is slain, or until he decides to end the spell. Place this card next to the wizard. Okay, do you wish to try to dispel it? 
Uh, no, but I want to cast something. Okay, well, then this is going to happen first. So, um, I've got a weapon skill of, uh, so this thing uh, attacks you like it had a weapon skill of five. And your weapon skill is six. Uh, so I need fives. You need fives. None. Doesn't work. Okay, now it's your turn. You can cast the spell. So, I'm going to cast, I'm going to play that and play that <laughs> for that. Uh, total power, total you, power. Don't, you don't need another power card. This, this... This covers, the wizard draws a mighty vortex of energy down from the winds of magic and uses it to hurl the full weight of his powers at the folk. You can use this card as a power card for a spell and it counts as three power cards on its own. Do you, or do you need four power cards? Two. Two, yeah, so it, it does it. The spell chosen is cast with such energy it cannot be dispelled on the turn it is cast. But it is a spell that remains in play and it can be dispelled in future turns as normal. Okay, what's the what's the spell, sir? Uh, steam of... Corruption. Read it, please. Yeah. But I, I want you to read from now on. St stream of Corruption. The sorcerer vomits forth a jet of putrid blood, maggots, excremental slime, and other indescribable foulness. Take the Stream of Corruption template from Battle Magic and place it with the pointed end touching the sorcerer and the broad end over the target. Oh, I thought it was okay. one of these. I think the Stream of Corruption. Oh, I thought where's, it was Where's the these. Battle Magic book here? Dang it, it's not. It's not those, no. Okay, so... I'm pretty sure it's the big flame type template. The flaming? Pestilent breath and the stream of... Where's pestilent breath? <laughs> the same cone chain template printed on both sides. Yeah, I'm a battle. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter because it's just a template. It's a cone template, right? Not just stare at this. So, part. so you're gonna get me with it, yeah. right? Here. Move. Yeah. All right. Um, all models beneath the template may be overwhelmed. Roll a d6 for each victim. Okay. Roll a d6. If you exceed my initiative, what's your Four. score? Four. If you exceed my initiative value. Probably pretty high for a leader, like, well, he's, he's a level three. Yeah, yellow beard. He's got initiative of five, so it does not. If it doesn't... Oh, any scores which exceed the target's initiative value will kill the victim outright. Choking him under a tide of filth and die rolls of six are always uh, kill. Targets with the toughness of seven or more are not... Yeah, normal armor cannot save. So, I, uh... You barely avoid it. I avoid it, so that's good. Okay, and it's my turn to cast magic spells? No. Now I can't cast the you same just... spell that I cast. I can't cast the wi Wildkin of Zandok. But I'm going to cast... Close combat. Yeah, I know. So... Dang it, I was hoping to roll a six there. Okay. Was... I'm going to pay two. Oh, I really hope... Oh, Ooh. I can't. I only have one. Uh, okay, well, uh, you have no other spells, right? You, can you keep any of your spells? Any of your cards, I mean? Well, I know I'm gonna get some of Can spells. you keep any of those cards, I mean? Uh, I don't know. It'll, it'll say, um, at the bottom, or it'll say you can, you can hang on to it. No, I think the escape not. is probably one. There's powers, all power. Okay, sure. All right, oh, your turn power. too. <laughs> your turn too. Okay, um, declare charges. Can these nerflings charge into him? No, because they're... Uh, they're nerflings. No, they, yeah, they can't. But you probably want to line them up to... Uh, probably want to, you know, maybe wait another turn with the Chaos Knights and then line these up so they can maybe get a flank in or something. Or I, I'm not sure what you want to do. I'm going to try do, but, to get or do you want to charge? towards just a black. Okay, are, do you want to charge them? Huh? First, got to declare charges. I don't want to charge... I'm, okay, first things first with my chaos. Oh, oh no, 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 you can't, can't measure. Just one sec. You, are, you're not charging? No. Okay, just one second. We sh These guys were supposed to make a panic test, too. They saw that? Well, I it doesn't guess. matter. They heard. Yeah, they're within 12. Yeah. Um, Come on, hold on, are these away. guys, too? Hold uh, no, I was, I was back here, right? Because you moved five. Uh, would they have been? Yeah, we'll say that they were, but these guys definitely don't have to. No. So my spearmen, I have no idea what they're... Uh, Unless they're the only dude left in their army. Like, that's good. Your spearmen are probably your best. Yeah, they're fine. Okay, 
All right, so you're not charging, so then just regular moves then. I know, so straight ahead. How far? Okay, sure. That's all they're going. They're going there. But you're you're not letting your minotaurs get through then. Well, my minotaurs are gonna be back here. They need cover from those dudes. I don't want my minotaurs dying. All right. They're minotaurs. You can touch it just a bit here. Okay, so Karen, you moved your minotaurs. You moved your um, your chaos knights. Yeah. Uh, you can move your nerglings if you wish. Do you you can oh, turn them nerglings. if you want to turn them. Uh, you can you can you can you can change formation if you want. That's what, what don't do anything yet. If you want to change formation with them, I think you have to test on your leadership. Just one second here. We'll just check. The the nerdlings leadership is probably it's probably a nine. Good. It's probably pretty good. Um, where would that be? Leadership four. That's it. They're nerdlings. Mm. They barely have a brain. Oh, I think they do have brains. I guess if it's the big, it's, if it's big boy nerdling. You just see here, maneuvering, turning. You can, uh, you can turn. You can only turn once and it takes a quarter of your move. So you could turn like this and then move what? that way. Or you could just wheel. Let's wheel. Okay, hold on, measure. So right here, so I want you to measure four, four inches, right? They can't march. Okay. Yeah. Four. Four. Okay. Measure straight. Always straight. So to here, okay, take the type measure away. Okay, now push this here, and I can go up to my finger. Perfect. So now what we'll do... Oh up. yeah, that's... Okay. Um, okay, and what about that guy, your wizard? She's just gonna walk over, like, yeah. Yeah. You can turn him to face anyway, I believe, because he's the individual. Okay. He looks like you're right. level three. Hand to hand, like, hand to hand, Kieran, because you don't have any, uh, yeah, you don't have any other things, so hand to hand. Are um, these minotaurs even gonna get an action? Okay, you charged last round, so you get the charging bonus. I did charge. You, well, it's like you charge because uh, okay. because you kind of overran into me. So um, you have two guys, which means they can attack with four attacks. Is it? Are you sure his sword isn't? No, no, it's it. it, it no, it, the most that can be is two. Okay. So four attacks. Roll four dice. Okay. Uh, What's more? your weapon skill again? Is six, okay. and my my uh, weapon skill of my. Yellow beard, he's only got a three. So what do you need to hit on us? Uh, this this chart here, I'll just help you. You need threes. Threes is the lowest you can go. Wait, chaos knights. Uh, no, those are my warriors. It doesn't matter. They have six turn. I, they have six weapons go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So four dice. You need threes. Threes to hit. All of them. Uh, no, all but one. All but one. Okay, uh, so next, your uh, strength of your Chaos Warrior is four, and the toughness of my guy is probably three, because that most of them, oh no, toughness of yellow beard is four. So, uh, to wound, four on four, you need fours. So roll your three dice. Yeah, okay, three dice, I need, need fours. fours. Yep. Five, six, one, I got a one. Okay, so you wounded him twice, potentially. I do have a um, save on yellow beard. He's got a five plus, but because you've got high strength, anything above four, four is a minus one. So I need sixes to try to save. Double one. Double Snake ones. Guys. Perfect. Yep. Snake, Snake guys. guys. This is uh, probably how this game is going. Spiders. Um, he's got Spider three Snake wounds. Guys. He's got three wounds. So can I get one of the little dice? Little dice. From there. Yep. He has three wounds and I win him twice. Yeah. So he's got one wound remaining. He's got to run. Okay. So he's got one room left. Okay. All right. Now we got to work out our combat damage. So you have... Uh, oh, I get to return. I get to retaliate. Um, I have two attacks. And I've got a weapon skill of three. 
So weapon skill three on sixes. Yeah, I need force. I feel like Gandalf whacking the dude with each stab. Force. And then okay, I got both. Like in the okay. Hobbit, and my got a stab. strength is three. What's your t or strength it's is the four? Karen, what's your toughness? It's probably a four, but I just want to make sure. Uh, four of your chaos. Chaos. Just just leave that cheat right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where's your chaos knights? I mean, where's your chaos warriors? No mentors. Warriors are here. Uh, weapons? Toughness is four. four. Strength four, toughness four, so I wound on force. I got one. Wow. So they do get a save, Kieran. Um, what is what is your save of your deck? Shield, shield, No, no, does, it should say save on it. Can, just, can you put, leave the sheet here? Um. Save is four. So normally it's a four, five, or six, but, yeah, it's a four, five, or six normally, but I have high strength of one, so it's actually a, a five or six now. What the okay. heck is a shield for? Yeah, it's good. No, oh, so one guy dies. What? But then the shields are okay, useless. Okay, and now I get a horse attack. But then the shields are useless. No, the shields add one to your saving throw. Oh, okay. okay. The war horse has a weapon skill of three. No, no, put, leave it there. Because we got to work out the math. Um, to hit a three on six, I need fours. Yep, the horse hit. And the, the, strength, horse? the strength of my horse is three, so three on four. You better roll to, wound. to make sure. I need a five. Five for the horse to wound. And I got a five. So you get a save, and this time it's the normal save because it's not a high thing. So you save on a four, five, or six. Nope, what? another guy dies. All right, so now we work out the combat math. Nope. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, that right. dude's better than that dude. You did two damage. I did two damage. Yeah. Okay. All right. We did. We have no rank bonuses. Is we have no other bonuses. Oh, so I, it, I it's a draw. Now. Am I nope. Clean? It's a draw. Okay. I'm pretty sure if it's a draw, then I don't think anything else happens. But let's just see here. Then I get to cast my spell on you again. And hopefully roll six to get that wizard out of there. Like... Yeah. There's no uh, no secondary thing, so it's just it's a it's, it's a stalemate. So these guys can get removed. We'll put, we'll put them over here in the dead pile. Actually, maybe we'll I'll just leave those guys there. Okay. All right. We go on to the magic phase now, Kieran. Okay. Um. Yeah. Same thing. Nope, 2d6. Oh, yeah. Uh, where's my... Oh, sure. Here's a dice. Here's a dice. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Those are yours. You start. Two power. Okay. And you're casting that same thing? Yeah. Does that have a range on it? No. I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, hold on. Um, so we have to find out what this stream of corruption... So I'm just going to pause it so we figure out what the yeah. stream of corruption template looks like. Hold on. So we think we found the right template. We think this is the stream of corruption template. Uh, I would think so, because it's pretty powerful ability, I think. So, um, so Kieran, I guess you, that's your only spell, right? So now I get to... Uh, Cast something? Well then then I won't be in range, so Yeah, well, that's why you gotta get that guy up. Uh Dad, I could have played this card. What is it? Metal duel. Oh yeah, yeah. Sure. I can engage yeah. any. Yeah, sure, let's do it. Yeah, you wanna do that instead? Sure. Yeah. So read read out what it says. Uh you can play this card to engage an enemy wizard of your choice in a battle of wills. Both players roll a d6 and add the magic levels of their respective wizards yeah. to their roll. The player with the highest total wins the duel and drives the knowledge of a spell out of the mind. Okay. The loser of the loser. The winner can immediately choose a spell card at random from does that mean it will take it out of the whole campaign no just spells are always different in each thing so 
Uh, yeah, of your choice. So I would assume you want to, like, this is 50-50 here because we're both rolling a dice, right? Yeah. And we're both love. So if you do it against my level 3 wizard, I get a plus 2. If you do it against my level 1 wizard, then I get yeah, a, yeah, I'll then it's 50-50. Level 1 wizard. Oh, okay, but I could, I might, I might wrench the spell out of your mind too, if I roll higher. I know. Okay, we're doing it. Let's go. Okay, let's we'll see what you roll first. I got a 5. Four. Your spell's gone for the rest of the game. That Nurgle spell is wrenched out of your mind. Well, he can still charge. So we've wasted all that time looking for a, a template that we don't need anymore. It's all good. Okay, so... Um, okay, so I'm going to cast a spell now. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to cast... Uh, Are you sure? The, ch the Keras of Lanif. Okay, um, it's got needs two power. Okay, and I'll read to you what what it does before you. Well, it's yeah, yeah. I guess we'll try. The Keras of Lanif engulfs a single model within twenty four inches. So you're definitely within twenty four. Purple lights trap the victim, solidify, constrict, and crush the life out of him. The target suffers two d six minus his own strength. Six hits. Okay, so you're gonna try to to negate it. You spell. Okay. If, uh, so when you dispel it, I'm, normally you need a 4, 5, or 6, I'm, but because I'm a higher level wizard, you now need a 5 or a 6. Okay? What? Yep. Um, I wonder if you can... Uh, just one sec. No, I, 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 yeah. I didn't do it. You didn't roll on it high enough? I roll a 2. Okay, so then it's going to trigger. Oh, I might have another... No. Um, okay, so it triggers. So um, uh, so I gotta read the effect again. But Dad, you're inside of your own spell. It, it does, it's a, it engulfs a single model within 24 inches. Oh. Um, the target suffers 2d6 minus his own strength. What is your strength of your guy? It was four, right? So, it's dead. Six, it no, doesn't... six minus four is two strength six hits. Okay, so strength six versus toughness of four. Yeah. Strength six, toughness of four. I need twos to wound. Okay, I got two wounds, but you get normal. It says you get normal saving throws as normal. So um, it is a strength six. And what's your save of your guy? It's four, right? Uh, four. Fours. Okay, so that's fours. And strength four takes it to a five. Strength six. Five takes it to a six, so and strength I seven, five. I mean, strength six takes it to a seven. So there's no saves allowed. So one more guy dies. There's no saves allowed? What? No. no, you can't save because the, the strength of it is a strength six. It's too high. Okay. That's very odd. No, it's, it's okay. Now, in the magic phase, you have to take a panic test. I have no idea. Do you have to take a panic test if you're reduced in the magic phase? I, I don't know. We're going to find out. What's the Shooting phase. Nope. No, no tests in this version as far as I can tell. So uh, I get to retaliate? Uh, your turn. I get to retaliate. No, no, you this was a spell. Me. It was a spell. Oh. Do you, okay, you can't cast anything. Can you use a, a special card? No. Okay, I'll retain this card in my hand. Okay, all right, so that is your turn. So um, mm -hmm. I'm not charging. No, I'm not charging. Um, I'm just going to go straight into shooting, and again, I'm, my guys are going to shoot into there. So you're not moving? Uh, I'm not. Oh, hold on, I guess I could move. Thanks, dear. Uh, no, your musket fired last turn. Oh, yes, that's right. Good, good call. Good call. Um, I guess I'll go like that. Sure. <laughs> so you're right. They can't fire, but they can fire now. So we'll what? we'll put this here to remind them because they can't fire for this turn, right? Because they fired last turn, like you said. Yeah. Yep. Good job. Good job. Okay. All right. Uh, there's no other movement. So now we go into hand-to-hand -hand combat, which is right here. And now because we've both been in hand to hand, no, there's no charging here. So now we both check our initiative. And whoever has the highest initiative gets to go Probably first. You. My initiative is a five of yellow beard. Uh, where's initiative? I. Six. 
Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So you got two guys against mine. So that is uh, four dice you're going to use. And you got a six versus whatever, and we know from before that the lowest value on a six is three, so you need threes to hit. Uh, so you got two hits. No. Nope. Oh, okay, one hit. Okay, and your strength is four, and my toughness is four, so you need four, five, or six to wound. And you got a wound. And so I get to try to save it. Normally I can save on a five or six, but uh, your strength's high, so now I can only save on a six. So that doesn't happen. Dead. So um, that is my last. Uh, yeah, you're that's the guy. Moved. So this guy uh, falls. Okay, so. I, no, he goes here. No, he's dead. He's. Yeah, but he's. No, he, it's, not it's not a standard. It's not a standard. Oh. Okay. All right. Don't don't these dudes make a chest now? Uh, no, that's if. Well, hold on, maybe. Your leader mm -hmm. just fell. Like your big leader. Uh, panic. Let's see here. If a friendly unit within 12 inches, now, is is a leader a friendly unit? I, yeah, leader is a friendly unit. I don't know, it's, a, it's just a character, it's you, not a... You can shoot, well, you know, you can shoot oh. your leader. Alright, it, they, uh, they're within 12 for sure, um, so, okay, they're fine. Okay, so I made my pack, yes. Okay. Are you sure those two, so your leader was here? I wonder. Okay, your turn. Okay. Uh, hold on. Uh, it's it's magic face. Sorry, my magic face. No, no, no. What are you doing? No, they're not in. Yeah, they're not in range. They're they're, sure. they're almost. Okay, uh, magic face. I still got a wizard. Do you know? So oh, you yeah. do too. So I got an eight. So I'm gonna have to shuffle these. This battle has gone kind of weird, hey? I thought for sure I was gonna beat those warriors, but five warriors are. Uh, man, yeah, I, I forgot I'm, how I'm good. Yeah, I forgot how good Chaos Warriors are. They're fantastic. All right. So we got an eight. Or should I get another leader? Two, two, three, three, four, four. How about we? Before you start worrying about that, let's worry about this game. All right. Um, I think I gotta cast this one now. So I'm gonna cast my Mist of Dithander. I'm gonna cast it again on your Chaos Knights. Okay. Um, and there's my two power for it. Okay. You're gonna try Actually, it? no, I'm not going to try to dispel it. I'll drain magic. Okay, then all of the cards out of our, come out of our hands. All right. Yeah, that's a, always a good one for you to play because it ends yeah. the magic phase. Okay, so your turn three, Kieran. Charge. Charging? Okay. All right. No, oh, hold on. Any other charges? Um, yeah. I don't think so, right? Can't really. Is it in a foot? In a foot? They, they can only go eight inches, right? So yeah, there's no yeah. way. So these guys are charging. We're gonna stand. We're gonna hold our ground. So uh, these guys have a six inch movement, so they can charge up to twelve. So just check the range. All we're gonna do is check the range. Yeah, we know it's yeah, in range. It's in. Okay. So now they get uh, one wheel. They go like that. And I'm gonna come in like this, and connect. Oh, hold on. So they, yeah, they connect and. They have a charge. Who closes the gap here? They just... I think I think it's the chargers in this edition. I think we screwed that up over here. The chargers close the gap, not the, not them. Okay, so they're done. Okay, and now re remaining moves, Kieran. Um, these dudes are gonna try and flank around. Yeah, so they could go. Uh, they have a movement of four. Four, but they could go further. No, those dudes are. In. Don't want you to shoot me. Okay. Yeah. Well, I can see you there. You can? Yeah. You want to push them back a little bit? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Now, remember in this game, too, table edges count for victory points. So think of a quarter. Each The, the table's divided in a quarter. So whoever owns this section gets one, 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 one. Okay? No, no. Always put it straight. Now, how far can they move? Eight. They you know, can four. move four. Yeah. So, it's so they can eight. go up to eight. So straight. So they go there. Yeah, just... So you could go and to there and then want to pivot? Sure, little, just like that. Yeah, that's good. Or you can move them back and pivot a bit more like yeah. that. There you go, sure. Okay, what about your nerdlings? I can, uh, they're actually going to follow the knight's lead. Okay, sure. Just uh, remember go straight. Oh. Or do you want to pivot? So hold on. Pivot a little? Okay, so so pivot, that would be, so, so this would be a two inch wheel. 
So then they only move two inches, so they're here. Right, but you could march them if you, well, you could march them, so you can move them further if you want. No, they, they'll stay there. Okay, sure. And then that guy. You probably want to move them, how far can you move? Eight? So probably, probably two inches here and another six, so measure from the start of the bridge. So right there. You know, we can just put him right here. We know that he's on the bridge. Okay, perfect. All right, that's all your movement. So yeah, he, now, no sword. shooting. So now we go into hand to hand. So now this time you've Charge. got the charges. So your chaos, knight, uh, chaos knights, where are they? Right here. Hey, do you want to do the horses first or do you want to do the knights first? Let's try and trample a few. <laughs> sure. Um, you've got four left, so you, you have four horses, so you're going to do that. What's their weapon skill here? Uh, horse? I yeah. have no idea. What it um, weapon skill is four. For the horses? Yeah. For real? Yeah. They got a weapon skill. <laughs> Wait, what? Those are good horses. Okay. Uh, I guess I guess it makes sense. Look, they got armor on. Well. Except they're... They, they got, got some spikes. Heads. Yeah, they got some spikes or stuff, right? Pointy heads. Okay, uh, their weapon skill is four. My spearmen have a weapon skill of six. Yeah, they're, you, they're the best dudes in your army. Are you like that? Doesn't make sense to me. I I have never dudes. played. I never played Empire in this edition. Uh, I I made my Empire they, recently, actually. They um, are the best dudes in your army. Are they? Yeah. No, the spearmen have a weapon skill of three. Oh, okay. So when you told me the numbers, you, you messed that up, but that's okay. Maybe I messed it up. So three, they I only got a weapon skill of three. I don't know what I was thinking before. Okay, but uh, they, this is their, six. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's okay, it. yours is a six for the horses? Yeah. No, four for the horses. Weapon skill is four. Okay, four on threes. Do you need threes for the horses to hit? So that's three hit. hits? Nope, you got yeah. one there. Oh, yeah. Three, okay, and what's their strength, Karen? The horses... Strength is four. Yeah, this whole uh, this whole spearman's botched here. I don't know what the heck what <laughs> kind of stats are there, but there's no way a human has that kind of stats. Okay, out of toughness of three, buddy. Well, I guess that won't be a military. Okay, so uh, sorry. Just, like, what's your strength here? Master buffing what's your strength? strength of the My horse? strength of the horse is a four. Strength of the horse is a four. Yeah. Can you check that in your chaos book? Strength four. All right, that's right then. Three. Four on three, you need threes to threes to wound with that, bud. Threes to wound? Yep. Yeah. Two wounds. So two wounds and I have a save. Spider snake eyes. The spearmen have a save of none, but they have light armor. None is wrong in the book because they have uh, they have a shield and I gave them light armor. So they normally get a five plus. But it's a it's a it's a high strength, so I need sixes to save. Yeah. No uh, save, no so that's save. two two dead. Okay, yeah. and how many attacks do your knights have? Probably two each. Two but... each, I'm pretty sure. Um mm. Chaos Knights. Two attacks. Two attacks. Okay. Uh so how many dice do you got? Two. Okay, so take all of them. You have eight total. Okay, and uh you're gonna need threes to hit. Are you sure? Yep. I'm positive. I'm strength of... No, weapon skill. You got more weapon skill than me, so... Weapon skills. Here's a six, and mine is oh, okay. like three, so you need threes. So pull out anything that's... Uh, yeah, threes hit. Yep, so two miss. Okay, and what, what is your strength? Do they have lances? What, I don't know what they have for uh, uh, weapons. Four. It's the same as horses, which is surprising. Uh, what kind of weapons do they have? Does it say in that book here? In your Basically chaos book? it's just swords, I think. They wear heavy armor. Yeah. Carry shields. Yeah. With lances. Okay, they and have lances. Swords and okay, they have lances. That's that's the thing you wanted. Okay. Alright. So those are the ones you hit. You hit with six dice. Chaos okay. steed have armor. What is what is the strength so. of your uh, chaos knight? Strength is a four. Four, but now they get plus two when they charge in. So they actually have a six. So six on three to wound is anything but ones. Anything but ones. Yeah. So that's uh, all but one. Five. So it's five more down. Yeah. Ooh. One, two, three, four. Oh, uh, you got a rank. That's five. You still have a few ranks. Okay. Now, when I attack back, 
Um, I okay, so I can yeah. because I've got spears, I can attack in two ranks. So that's uh, one rank gone, two ranks gone. Well, three once rings my mentors get so in I've here. got one, two. These dudes three. are just as the charge. They're going to do the run charge tactic. That's only one. They so I got two normal and I have my wizard. Okay. Your wizard. Two normal. So uh, the weapon skill, mine weapon skill is three hitting sixes. I need fours. So these are just regular spearmen hitting you. So one hits. And the strength of the spear is three, and your toughness of your knight, is it four? Um, four. Yeah, three on four to wound. Are you sure you don't want to hit the horse? You can't. Oh. Okay, I got one wound, but you get a normal save. So your save is two plus? Two plus. So. Right, isn't it? Um. Yeah, the save was two plus, right? Because we looked that up before. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so two plus. Yeah, anything but a one. Yep, so Six. you saved it. Now my wizard gets to attack. That's... He has two probably with his staff and his sword. Hold on, he's a hero. Oh yeah, he's a hero. Oh. Hold on, Kieran. He's a hero? I was supposed to have two wizards plus a hero. You're supposed to have a hero? Yeah, my hero should have been in this group. Oh. Okay. That was that. That was dude. that guy. Yeah, we need him. So I'm gonna bring him on next turn. So go grab him. He are was you... he was obviously you know. I was like, Dad, are you sure you don't need this he, dude? He was with his girlfriend or something. I don't know. Who knows? So we'll see. Um, okay, I get I get my normal uh, little wizard back. Uh, he gets to fight. So he is a level one wizard. He has only one attack. Weapon skill three. So three on sixes, I need fours. No, he was just fighting goblins. No, he doesn't hit. Okay. So I have to take a battle, uh, I have to take a break test. Okay, now here's how it works. So, uh, Kieran, your damage is two, four, six, seven. You have seven points of damage, okay? I have one, two, three ranks. I still have three ranks. So minus three, and I have a standard in that group. So that's four. So I've got, a, I've got a resolution strength of four, okay? So I take the test at minus three. My, you know what, I, I, what is my leadership? It's only seven, Kieran, yeah, it's only seven. Um, so at minus three, I need to get four or less to stay. They break, do you wish to follow? Yeah, I have horses. <laughs> of course you wanna follow. Okay, before we do that, they gotta see if these guys run. They got a, they're hand gunners. They've got a uh, leadership of seven. We got to see if they're gonna run. Uh, they're good. They're gonna hold. And so you're gonna you're gonna pursue me. You pursue and because you're on on a horse, you get to pursue with three dice, <laughs> and I get to run away on two dice. I run seven, and you go eight, which is just enough to 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 move me down. down. So I'm gonna go eight back, which actually is gonna put them into. Uh, they can charge these guys if you wish. So do they die? No. You I'll might. charge the muskets. Yeah, you might as well, right? Yeah. Alright. Why are you getting men back? I'm not, I'm not. I'm just, I'm just trying to put them over there in the, in the damage area. Oh, they're... These guys are dead. Okay. So I ran, oh. I ran them. This is what, what it's lasted three I... whole turns and, and I, I thought I actually had a fighting chance here. When I saw that thing, I'm like, when you Your said nights, you had the freaking so strength, it's, it's these chaos things here. They're good. All right. The rest aren't. So they're dead and, they have, okay, and they're going to charge straight in. So we're just going to move this tree here because it's just for fluff here. And we'll go like that. It's, it's an end that doesn't want to fight. All right. Okay, so that is the, that, and we go into the magic phase now, Kieran. Um, you don't have and any And they can't, magic? because they were charged during a, during a thing, they can't, all they can do is hold their run. I can't, I can't do any magic. You know what? I should have fleed with these guys. You I, know what? Let me do that. I'm going to try to flee instead. Okay? Because they have to roll, hold their ground. No, they, I can run away. But if I run this far, then they're off the table and they're, like, destroyed. <laughs> So I just run your troops off. You, 
<laughs> you did you just run off the map? I just ran right off the map as they fled. They were destroyed. And your hero break it's like he's like Help us! Help yeah, us! They what? drop their guns. That hero would have changed the, the battle here significantly, yeah. right? Yeah. That's okay. Um, I You know what? I think at this point, I think I'm going to call the game here. Because I just have one one hero left. and. Why would you flee if you're that close to the edge of Well, because getting charged by these guys, is they're, they're dead anyways, right? So I might as well try to run. And then maybe I can... If you run, I'll chase you down. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's the wrong decision. You know what? Yeah, I think we're going to call the, the game at this uh, this uh, section. So what we're going to do next is we're going to just go into and uh, see if any people level up. Okay, and we're back. And so we're just going to clean up things here. So Kieran has a choice between a town. Um, he can either take the town or the bridge. So I'll just go through here. The town says you may add um, a champion hero or army standard bear. Uh, no magic items um, are included with this territory. So Kieran, because his one uh, one uh, champion or level two uh, or level two chaos sorcerer has a mark. Yeah. Otherwise, the uh, the bridge is worth ninety points of uh, regular regiments. So which one do you want to take, Kieran? Um. So for this uh, battle, I forgot to bring my my uh, leader. Uh, I don't know what he was doing, but he wasn't there. It would have probably... Slaying goblins. It, it probably would have certainly helped this battle here. Yeah. I probably would have destroyed those Chaos Knights, but who knows, I rolled pretty pretty bizarre for those guys. Well, so you did man's kill a little bit of my units. All right, so here, uh, the next thing that we do, Kieran, is uh, we go into characters, character experience. So, Kieran, at the end of each game, one character per side, Receives an experience point. These minotaurs did nothing this game. That's okay. The character should be selected randomly. Well, you only had one. So uh, roll a d6, Kieran. This is the table that you'll use. It's, it's okay. Just roll. Get that over here. Uh, uh, what'd you roll? Five. Yeah, roll, uh, roll again. So you're on table B. One. One. You get... Uh, Initiative plus one. <laughs> well, like I need that. Okay. Now I had a couple guys here, so his I, name's Glock. I have to see which one it is. So um, we're gonna say that my big guy couldn't get the experience. So it's either gonna be my level one wizard or my level three. So one, two, three is my level three. Okay. So it's my level one wizard, and see which table. He's on the B table, and it is a two, which is attack plus one. Ooh, that's way better. But he didn't do And that. that's the wind-up of the game. And, oh, uh, we got to see... I can buy stuff. we got to see the fate charge. If your character in your original base army dies... Um, so basically, i got to see if my uh, my guy dies here. Um, so I rolled 2d6, and a 2 to 9, he lives. And uh, 10 to 12... He dies. You can use a healing potion, but we don't have any of those yet. So, so am I this is for do, my big guy. These dudes, can these dudes get any experience? They got yeah, the banner? Well, after every 10 games. Oh. Yeah, so it, it's, we can maybe make it change it to 5. So I got an 8. So my my uh, wizard or my wizard does pull through and, and survive. And now I got to roll for my level 1 wizard because he was run down too. What did I get? He's a five, so they both live, and that's uh, that's all we need. So Kieran's yeah. probably going to take the br the bridge for the extra points, yeah, and uh, I, we'll just kind of scroll I, here. I want to build up this dudes because they were good. So again, thanks for uh, watching, and uh, we appreciate. And uh, we're gonna carry on with this campaign. We're probably gonna add a few more armies. I've only got a couple that are painted, so I've got high elves still, and I've got lots of orcs and goblins, and. Uh, that's all I have right now, really painted for for armies that can go in this campaign, yeah. and I'd I'd rather paint use painted armies. I guess um, we can use maybe another chaos army too. So stay stay safe. Yeah, thanks for watching. Bye bye. So we just have one more update. So um, it's actually after every every ten games, um, you can choose one of your units, and uh, you can make them elite. And and but we're gonna do it for every five because it's just Karen and I here, and uh, we didn't shake hands. So. Um, here, Karen.
Good, Good game. game. Good game. Thanks for the whipping, kid. Okay, take care.